Psychics say they possess mystical powers, but can they really prove it? With a million dollars on the line, a group of psychics were willing to step up and be tested. How did they do? Here's ABC's Juju Chang. Calling all psychics. The Nightline interns are spreading the word. There's a million dollar cash prize for anyone who can demonstrate supernatural powers. The man with the checkbook? A renowned magician and psychic debunker named Banachek. Were you nervous that no one was going to show up? Oh, I truly didn't think anybody would show up. Banachek is clearly not psychic because several people did show up, including a medium, a tarot card reader, and a palm reader. But first, a little more on that money. It actually belongs to the James Randi Foundation. That's Banachek's boss, magician James Randi. Right, I'm looking I'll really hard. To which hand? This one. No, actually, you're wrong. Where did it go? I have no idea where it went. The amazing Randy has spent 30 years debunking psychic claims. What would you say to your critics who say you just don't have an open mind? Oh, I have an open mind, but not so open that my brains will fall out. After confirming the money does in fact exist, we're ready to get started. Let's meet contestant number one. My name is Jesse Bravo, and I'm a stockbroker by day. But by night, I'm a psychic and I speak to dead people. A psychic stockbroker? Well, he can't be much worse than the regular ones. Unfortunately, not everyone's open to the idea. So as soon as you tell somebody you're a psychic, they have to make a decision. Are you completely crazy? So Usually, are you crazy, Jesse? I think we're all crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Here are the rules for Jesse's test. 12 envelopes. Inside, photos of 11 random living people and one very famous dead person. To win, Jesse has to locate that dead person nine out of 12 times. Hi, Jesse. Yes. Like a game show. <laughs> Go ahead. Thank you very much. The odds of winning by luck are about one in a million. But Jesse, of course, isn't counting on luck. What I tried to ask is, whoever is gone, will you please just show me which envelope they're sort of contained in? You believe that's a dead person? Are you ready? But the spirits didn't answer. Jesse's first pick was this girl, and she's very much alive. That is a living person. Attempt two. Are you ready? This one is a live person. Strike two. He was supposed to find Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley. We know he's dead, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm considered very good at what I do, and boy, am I bombing. Yep. You believe that this is a dead person? I'm hoping so. After another failure. It's a live person. A live person. Internally, I was crumbling. It's Jesse Bravo's last chance. Wow, that was very direct. Well, that one very strongly, I'm guessing. I'm trying different techniques. Okay. This one live. is? It's live. I think? Yeah. You're right. It's live. Jesse may have failed, but he says the problem wasn't with him. It was with the test itself. Asking an envelope, an inanimate object, to answer a question, it's a really tough thing to do. Maybe there's other people that can do that. I'm not one of them, obviously. Next up, 